Richard and Will use double challenge. This is a critical hit. Oh no, this has hurt Andrew badly. Andrew has also become confused. What will Andrew do to get himself out of confusion? And to win the battle, find out in this episode of Blaze vs. Bay. So, hey people of Blaze vs. Bay, I have recently watched the response to the challenges that I set Richard and Will and I'm thoroughly impressed. Guys, for your first video on Blaze vs. Bay, they were awesome! I thoroughly enjoyed watching them and I congratulate you on your awesome source efforts because they were awesome videos. I really, really enjoyed watching them and stuff. And yeah, so let's give them a round of applause, please, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, go on then, go on then, yeah. Round of applause. <laughs> Thanks. I thought that you did very well. Just a couple of things to say about them. Right, so I watched the videos. I really liked the videos. But then I was like, ah, I don't know what to do now. Because basically what has happened is I've been set not one, but two challenges at the same time. Aww. Thank you. I probably should have thought about this. I set all three of you challenges at the same time. And now it's like, ah, have two back at the same time and you have to do them and stuff. Both Richard and Will have set me challenges. Granted, they've been lovely to me and given me options just like I gave them to choose from. But this still means that I have a lot of work to do. I mean, like, work on top of life and stuff. And life and stuff is quite hard as it is, really, but... All in the days of a teenager and whatnot! What am I going to do? Two challenges at once is more than a challenge. I mean, it's two challenges. Before I panic, I just want to ask one question, because I'm super confused. In your video, Richard, you said two things. You said to be you, and you said to act like you. So, I don't know whether I'm playing you, or whether I'm acting like you. In the world of an actor, because I am an actor, I'm an awesome actor, and stuff, maybe, I think, possibly. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, being you and acting like you are two completely different concepts. And you didn't really make that clear in your video, because you said one of them in the video, and you posted in the down bar something else. So I was like, I don't know what to do here, because it's two different things. But this is... This is really, really confusing! <laughs> that's, just, well, that's just one thing I want to clear up quickly. The fact that you have set me a challenge that I understand, but it's not completely and utterly clear in my head. So if you could just clear that up, that would be brilliant. Yeah. Friend! Just basically, Richard, can you please clear up your challenge for me? Post another video response telling me what the hell you meant, because I don't know whether to be you, or to act like you, or to mock you or I don't know what to do because you weren't very specific dude well I really like your challenges I've had an idea yes an idea I have an idea um, I've had an idea about what I'm gonna do and then my idea this is blaze versus bay I'm blaze 1540 born to be wild and surprise after nink to people of the world I'm in my kitchen well not my kitchen my dad's kitchen actually but I'm in the kitchen, a kitchen, somewhere in the world. I've been challenged to try a very obscure combination which consists of mint ice cream, salt and pepper crisps, peanut butter and chocolate. Now instead of salt and pepper crisps, I've got lightly salted crisp and ground pepper that I can put on the top and instead of peanut butter because I dislike it and I don't have enough money to buy it so it won't be used and there's no point in me getting it I'm going to use Branson's small chunk pickle which is probably going to make the combination even more disgusting but I'm sure we will find out so I will run you through my list of awesome ingredients and show you so if you feel like trying it then by all means do so but that might be a little bit stupid like me my chocolate i'm using is the cooperative fair trade crispy milk chocolate fair trade stuff is good good for the world my ice cream mint chocolate vionetta small chunk branston pickle kettle crisp slightly salted probably quite tasty quite tasty and tesco value ground black pepper i'm gonna melt that little bit of uh, fair trade chocolate there see how that works so without any uh, further hesitation because 
It's making me feel a little bit woozy just looking at it. We're gonna see how this works. So first of all, I'm just gonna put my chocolate in the microwave for a couple of minutes. Try and get it to melt. Melting chocolate, melting chocolate. So while that's uh, heating itself up in there, I'm going to open these and get ready to crush them and then shove some black pepper over them and put that in the bowl too. Originally, um, Will said that when he challenged me this, that if I did it, he would do it too. But due to the challenge slightly changing, because some of the ingredients have changed, he's told me that he's not going to try it, so. That's a bit of a bummer. This is smoking here. Yeah. yeah, that's smoking, I've just noticed. That doesn't look good. I thought you could melt chocolate that way, but apparently not. Because there's smoke. Is the... Huh? What's in that microwave? Chocolate? Because I thought you could melt chocolate in the microwave. And now that the chocolate is melted, I'm going to open this packet, sprinkle a load of kettle crisps over it, shove in some pickle, black pepper, then I'm going to get out the Viennetta ice cream again. Oh, I only put it away because I didn't want it to melt, and I'm not using it yet, so I thought it'd be a good idea for it not to die, because I need to use it, and it's tasty stuff. Don't put chocolate in a microwave, because it burns. That's not a good idea. Um, so, my episode of Is It A Good Idea To Microwave This? Chocolate is not really, especially if it... <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's from the smoke. Especially if it's a uh, cooperative fair trade chocolate, yeah, that doesn't seem to last too well or too long. So, yeah, don't try that at home because I've just found out from experience it's not a good idea. Ding! Right, I'm going to try crushing it like this. Cool. Now that that's all crushed and stuff, which is good because that's how I want it. I'm going to put it in the bowl with the burnt chocolate. Well, slightly burnt chocolate. It's not all burnt because then it wouldn't be edible and that would not be very nice and stuff. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to sprinkle this in there, sprinkle over some black pepper and then mix it in with Branston pickle and a little bit of uh, mint Viennetta because that'll taste lovely, of course. I'm going to die. If I do die, well, you can't have my stuff because you're the one who sent me to do this. So I'll probably come back to haunt you. If not, then that'll be good because I can still live my normal average life. Anyway. I don't even, I don't even like pepper. Get me a knife. Where's a knife? Thanks, camera person. Hi, Harvey. <laughs> I'm trying to make a delicious combination. Yeah. Make what you want. Just replace all the ingredients tomorrow, please. If you're wasting food, don't replace it. <coughs> no, you I like to see food wasted. I'm not really wasting it. Most of what I've got here is mine that I bought. Well, as long as I watch you eat it, it's fine. Okay, so now that I'm eating chocolate, which is good, co op fair trade chocolate, <laughs> co op, but their chocolate's actually quite good. And I've got this lovely, beautiful mixture in the bowl, as you can see there. It's going to be tasty, of course, because. I'm going to die if it's not. I just need to get my mint Viennetta ice cream now and shove that in the bowl too. And then we're going to try it all together. Just going into the freezer that I never shut properly to get my mint Viennetta ice cream. Shove it in that bowl of lovely looking tasty stuff. Cut some more up. We like this because this is tasty stuff. This is turning into a cooking show. Oh, I'm a chef. Right, uh, chop it up a little bit. To ensure precautions and make sure that my Viennetta ice cream doesn't melt because it's nice and tasty stuff, we've got to make sure we put it back in the freezer now. Now for the final result. Doesn't that just look delicious? We need to make sure we get it all on the spoon because if we don't then I know that Will's going to complain. He'll be like, you didn't eat it all at once in whatever voice he'll use at the time. There's crisp, there's Viennetta. I don't think there's much pickle on there so I'm going to try and get a bit more. You saw me put the pepper on so you can't call me a cheat.
even though I'm going to make sure I finish the bowl, because that's going to be a waste of food. That's absolutely lovely. Yeah, lovely. Let's have some more. Like fish fingers and custard, it tastes a lot weirder after the more mouthfuls you have. So progressively, it could quite easily make you feel sick. But hopefully let's not get to that stage. Introduce this dish to the entire world. I'm sure every citizen will love it lots. I don't mind it. And I can safely conclude that this dish has to be one of the best dishes I've ever tried. In my entire life. Right upside down